Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading for the first half of March, 1st through the 15th, 2018. Let's get to it, yeah? Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, sun, moon, and rising. Uh, let's talk about what's going on for Gemini. For the beginning of March, March 1st through the 15th, 2018, yeah? Gemini, 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 the twins. Gemini. Ooh, you've got a flyer, Gemini. Oh. Okay. What is this? What? What is this? The Queen of Cups. Is there a queen of cups in your life? Someone who embodies the queen of cups energy, maybe a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Could also be um, someone that just embodies the queen of cups energy. Uh, highly emotional, but, but you know, balanced with the emotions when upright. Um, intuitive, very intuitive, loving, nurturing, caring, compassionate. Family oriented, very, very family oriented, but also I'm picking up very intuitive. I mean, I often tend to embody the Queen of Cups energy because, you know, I can be quite intuitive, hence reading these cards. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we could be talking about a situation with someone that embodies Queen of Cups energy, okay? It could be you, Gemini. You could be embodying Queen of Cups energy in this moment. Let's see what the story is about, and we'll get deeper into that. Gemini, Gemini. All right, one more shuffle for you, Gemini. Okay. All right, so Gemini, your overall energies, we're starting out with the sun. Well, that's nice. The sun is shining on you, Gemini. So if you're going through some rough times or whatever, don't even worry. Don't even stress yourself out about it. The sun is shining. Everything's going to be okay. Woo, we've got death. Transformation. That can be quite rough sometimes. But the sun is shining. Everything's going to be okay. And also we have the nine of cups. Wish fulfillment of some sort. And then we also, underneath that, we have the Seven of Cups. Here, I'll show you. <clears throat> the Seven of Cups. So um, I feel like the Seven of Cups is heavily tied to death and whatever transformation you're going through, Gemini. Um, and also, I'm, say, I'm seeing that the transformation that you're going through is going uh, going through, excuse me, is going to facilitate some sort of wish fulfillment for you depicted in the Nine of Cups. And, as, and that is strengthened by the sun that's showing up for you. Now, this could involve a Leo with the sun. It also could involve a Scorpio with death. But if that resonates with you, please understand this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But if either of those resonates with you, then this is a situation that could be involving somebody of those signs, okay? Yeah, so let's move forward to the story here. What's going on with you, Gemini? The chariot. Moving forward. The star. Ah! So we've got Cancer with the chariot, I believe. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And the star, and Aquarius with the star. If that resonates with you, there's that. But you're moving forward, Gemini, in some way that's going to, number one, be very, very healing for you. But number two, facilitate some sort of wish fulfillment. Again, the wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups and the Star. Um, I feel like also the transformation you're going through with death is illuminating some more of yourself. You're being able to see more of your own inner light, which is helping you 
um, with the chariot energy, because as you see more of your inner light, you become more aware of your inner truth. So you become more aware of what it is you truly desire in your life. And with that illumination, you can move forward towards it. And you've got the energy of the chariot behind you to make that movement forward. And that is swift and strong energy. So that is really, really good. You have the universe on your side. Gemini, you're going through something serious right now because you already have four major arcana, all right? So this is, this is a strong period for you. This is a very good period for you, okay? Next we have, wow, the tower. More, <laughs> more major arcana energy. And actually, Aquarius got the tower, this tower too. So does Scorpio. Mm, Scorpio. Um, the tower with the two of cups. Mm -hmm. I see reconciliation with the two of cups. I also see, um, you could also say this is a reconciliation within yourself with the tower. Either there was some sort of tower moment that happened and now all of this could still be in relation to the the uh, Queen of Cups that um, came out to begin with. So this could be a relationship with someone or a situation with someone that either is a water sign. Um, again, could really be a Scorpio or a Cancer because we have two of those come out already with death and chair and the chariot. But also it could be somebody that embodies the Queen of Cups energy. And so there was a tower moment or there could be a tower moment coming up in which you are now either seeking reconciliation or thinking about it, planning for it maybe. And whatever your wish fulfillment, your, this, this wish fulfillment could be you reconciling with this person somehow. It's nice. And the sun is telling me that things would go, will go well, no matter how it may look on the surface, things, things would go well. Next. We have the nine of swords. Yeah, so you're up in your head about something with the six of swords. Okay, well, that's good. Um, either you are in the nine of swords energy, um, which is, uh, you know, self-fulfilling prophecies, but losing sleep, um, just extreme anxiety. Um, either you've been in that and now you're moving away from it with the Six of Swords, or you're trying to move away from it with the Six of Swords, or you're ma you're moving forward in your life. Um, maybe, yeah, you're moving forward towards calmer waters. Like maybe you're moving away from the conflict with this person, but you're not really dealing with it. You're not really taking steps to heal the, the, the connection between the two of you. And so... As you move away to calmer waters with the Six of Swords, your thoughts are still back at this situation and you're still kind of, I want to say, obsessing over it with the Nine of Swords. I mean, the only thing I can say to that is maybe you should, you know, heed your intuition and try and reconcile. If you're so caught up about it, then do something. Gemini. Moving forward, Three of Cups with Page of Wands. So I'm seeing a celebration. I'm seeing someone coming forward with a passionate uh, message, uh, a strong, uh, a sincere, sin a very sincere message is what I'm seeing here. Because yes, it's passionate, but it's not passionate in like a lustful way. It's passionate in a sincere way. Like they really mean it. And coupled with the Three of Cups, I'm seeing what the sun has already said about um, success. And here the Three of Cups is saying uh, social success, success with this other person, um, coming together and being able to celebrate with other people because yay, we're friends again, you know, that kind of thing. That's beautiful. Next in your story, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So Gemini, you're doing some work and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, Gemini. You're doing some work and um, there's swift movement within you towards justice is what I'm seeing here with this Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords can be, um, can be negative, but in this situation, I'm seeing um, doing the right thing for the sake of doing the right thing and doing the work that is required to achieve whatever that, whatever you think, you whatever you perceive the right thing to be. Like this is um, a, 
a continuation of the message from the chariot and the star um, in order to make that movement towards what you are being guided to um, you're doing you're doing the hard labor with the eight of pentacles and you're keeping your mind right with the knight of swords you're keeping your focus on the truth of the matter and from there you're doing the work to facilitate moving forward in whatever way facilitate this transformation or uh, move further with this transformation yes next we have the fool embarking on a brand new journey i mean I, absolutely that is a cont continuation of what the tower and the two of cups is saying the, the things the tower illuminates things and now you've got a new perspective to work from essentially followed by the ace of cups aquarius got the ace of cups too Uh, this is a beautiful message, especially in relation to what we're talking about here. The fool is giving you a brand new start. You're like taking a leap of faith almost, but that leap of faith is going to lead you to, to fulfillment with the Ace of Cups, a new start, a new emotional start. And what, however this plays out for you, Gemini. I, I'm feeling like that's a very welcome message for you. Like I'm, I'm feeling a big sigh of relief for you there. That's nice. Next, seven of pentacles, taking stock, trying to understand how you got to where you are right now with the wheel of fortune and that, that taking stock and trying to understand how you got to where you are right now is absolutely supported by the universe because you have the wheel of fortune here, which is the ending of a cycle. Um, but as you understand what led you to where you are, you can better prepare for the future. And as the wheel turns, then you'll be better prepared to handle what comes up in your life and the future. And if you clear up the things, the discrepancies within your energetic field that have helped, that have led you to whatever the situation is, whether positive or negative, if it is a negative situation, then if, if you clear up what's in your energetic field that helped you create it, then the wheel can turn even more in your favor as you move forward because you then change your vibration and you became you can become a vibrational match to something much different. And we're hoping it's a better thing, yeah? We're hoping that this transformation that you're doing and all this work that you're doing is facilitating a higher, more positive and loving vibration, which will then attract higher, higher more loving vibrational situations and people, yeah? Finally, in your story, we have the Ten of Swords. Wow. With the Queen of Wands. Whoa. I really feel like, Gemini, this um, this reading is very similar to what you dealt with, what Aquarius got. So if any of you are watching this, Gemini, you have um, Aquarius is heavy, is heavy in your chart, or you have it as your either your sun, moon, or rising sign. Um, or maybe some people that or some people or another person that was involved in this situation is an Aquarius, something like that. I would I would recommend that you check out that video. But what we have here with the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Wands is very similar to what Aquarius got in their reading, whereas somebody around you is done. Done, done, done. Either it's somebody around you that's done with every with done with whatever this situation or relationship is between the two of you and is moving on in a real powerful way with the queen of wands or this is you you're done with something you're done with uh some aspect of yourself that helped lead you to whatever this situation is speaking to you're done with a situation with someone else where uh, you're you've had it however this is applying to you Someone is done and someone's passionate about it. But also um, an ending is here with potentially with belief systems. Um, and because of that, you are able to embody a queen of wands energy in the sense that you, you are highly passionate about it, very fiery, and you're magical. You have the ability to attract whatever you want and you get what you want no matter what anyone else has to say about it. And in this situation, especially with this transformation that's going on with the death here, I think that's great for you, Gemini. I really do. So there you have it. There is your reading, Gemini. Thank you for joining me. I love you guys. 
Um, I will be back. I will see you soon. I'll see you again for the second half of March. Yes. Take care. I love you all. Bye.